Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Factorio campaign with uh, Bob's Mods and Angel's Ores. And now Warehousing Mod. We've uh, we've built four warehouses. They are 6x6 entities that hold 800 stacks of stuff. We could go even bigger. We could go for these guys here. This storage storehouse. No, storage... Uh, this one. The storage warehouse can hold 2,000 stacks of stuff. Well, that just seems silly for a train outpost. Plus, it's technically part of a logistic, like, chest type, and who knows? Maybe someday we'll have storage, like, like logistics everywhere, and I wouldn't want them to actually be part of any kind of network. So I think we'll just use these warehouses directly in front of the trains. We're still going to want to wire these up so that they load evenly. Um, and then I do have a RoboPort on me. I have no construction robots, though, so I can't... Damn it! Go back to the base again. I'm not doing this by hand. I'm not shooting the trees and I'm not mining the trees. I'm just gonna have to go back to the base. Go to the depot, please. It's just I just I can't. I can never seem to have enough all the right stuff. I, we, we did one thing and now we gotta go back to the base. I, I had the stack inserts. I've got the belts. I have the mining drills. And now I just need some robots. All right. So one of the things that I actually really like about the warehousing mod is that it created there's six by six chests basically, and cargo wagons are exactly six tiles long now. And I usually use six stack inserters anyway, so it just kind of lines up perfectly, which is awesome. Uh, where is a robo port? Any construction robots in there? Give me like two hundred construction robots, huh? Where'd they all go? I, there's like 750 of them out there somewhere. I've left my car behind. I don't know why. Where are they? Oh, they've got to all be over here. From their previous job. Or are they just in here? No. Where did they all go? Oh, all of them are busy. They're all still doing this task of trying to build this thing out for me. Otherwise known as they're all right here. And uh, I have a small fixes mod which prevents me from picking up flying robots, which is good and bad at the same time. Because I kind of need some construction robots. Why are we not making any flying robot frames? Because there's no electric energy units, because there's no engine units, because there's no iron. Oh, jeez. Cancel the construction of this bottom area. Hopefully that'll free some of them up. Eventually. Damn it! I need some robots! Hmm. It's an interesting little problem that we got going here. Please stop bringing me iron. Please let the bus do its job. Where did I leave my car? Oh my god, I left it way down there. Okay, um... Yeah, it is a charge point issue for sure. I mean, the factory right now can support about 80 megawatts, so it's not a power issue. If there's 750 construction robots that are all busy but not able to do their job and the, the task isn't complete yet, it's just gotta be enough charging points. I, and the reason I think is I don't think I put a single charging station down on that eastern side of the base. So they're just using the robo ports, and that's a lot of robots trying to get a charge. Plus they have to fly a long way to pick up the stone and the concrete 
bits. Let's come over here with the car. And a few more charging points. I know I have a few on me. The good ones, too. 3 by 3s I powered. Are you guys actually trying to get charged up on these right here? That's pathetic. Go away, go somewhere else. You must find additional charging locations like these. Wait! Are they waiting to charge or are they going to sleep? Nope. Still not available. It would be really cool if when you hover over this you could actually see like how many robots were waiting to charge for this specific location. Okay, why did so many of you go over to this thing instead of going to this one? It feels like they're all coming here. Come on, you little derps. Yeah, I could just shoot them. You're right. That is an option. I don't think that that would solve my problem of not having enough construction robots. <laughs> if anything, it may uh, weaken my position. I could just take some of the iron that I have and try to make it make a few more robots. Just gonna force you to make pipe so that we can have robot production again. Shouldn't have given this given them this large task. But I figured I wasn't gonna need them and now I need them. And it's still saying 601 objects are missing construction robots, which means there's at least 601 jobs, which means Oh, now it's saying 600, so are we just kind of coincidentally about near that breakpoint where it stops tracking? Yes we are. We're not on 580. So they're, they're making progress. These, these charging stations are very good. These are the Mark II charging points. They can charge nine robots at a time. And the internal... The trend... What? The internal buffer recharge rate is 31 megawatts. Like, it's stupid fast. How quickly they can charge a robot up. Let me just look. Watch these guys when they fly on top. They're there for like not even a second. And then they're just like, okay, I'm good. So, I mean, these 3x3s should be able to handle tons of robots. The internal buffer recharge rate on the Mark II RoboPorts is only like 10. No, 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 no. Robot recharge rate, 4 by 25 megawatts. This is 9 by 3.1 That's the number that's important, so it's not, it's not the number I said. It's not 31 megawatts, it's, uh, 3.1 megawatts. So they're, they're like... A solid 20% faster than the Mark II RoboPorts, and they've got way more area. We're down to just 200 jobs, so once this thing is down to zero, then we'll start to see some robots come to sleep. And since they're all working over here, I have to mention some of these little dummies are going to come sleep in these robo stations or these things here. And in a moment, we should see a couple of these guys pop out a few more frames. Yep, there's a couple there. No, I want him! <laughs> Down to 45. Well, this is not at all what I intended to do in this episode, but, uh... It's been a nice little interesting problem. 
Can we make more robo charging pads? Yes, we can. Well, let's let's go ahead and do that. Hundred eighty six. Oh, my God, there they are. I have them. They're mine. Where else are you sleeping, you little bastards? I now have 70 in my pocket. Oh, my gosh, that's so exciting. I just want like a hundred or so. And we have a hundred or so, so let's get out of here. Well, that was an interesting little thing. The key to having a robust robotic network is just having idiotic numbers of roboports and charging stations. Because roboports on their own cost far less now than they used to. They used to have a very high, uh, like, just kind of static drain rate, and they got rid of that recently in favor of much higher robot re recharging costs. So overall, factor the factory developers themselves made... Okay, let's make sure we have everything we need. We've got a roboport. Got some charging points. Go to the base. Anyway, um... Look at how resistant this train is. Acid, pierce, electric, explosion, fire, impact, laser, physical... A lot of different uh, different ways that it's resistant. Okay, please don't tell me that I forgot something. I may have. I'm just gonna pop you down. Basically, right here, wherever we can fit you out here in the center. Throw all of our robots in there. Grab some power for you. Let's do the uh, the upgrade builder on kill trees. We'll start by clearing out all these trees. Give them a storage chest up here. And let's throw down a couple of these charging pads because we know that they're going to need them soon. Okay, uh, let's also deconstruct rocks. Unfortunately, you can't do the auto-deconstruct thing with rocks. I've already tried. And by auto-deconstruct, of course, I mean upgrade planner on rocks to only capture rocks when you do the tree one. But, oh well. This is basically a glorified personal roboport right now for me. A big one, but... Okay, they made short work of that forest. That's what's important. Good. So some of this is going to be infinite. See in there, there's a couple of little spots there. Yep, we got a little infinite yield there. Infinite sapphire. Sweet. Alright. How do we want to do this? Eventually the chests, or the, the mining capacity of these drills is going to be so high that we won't be able to use belts. But we're not really there yet. Although, these level 2, mar these level two drills, you can only go a few... Like, a, f a few deep before they end up being, uh, they overload a regular lane. So I think that that's our, our basic blueprint. We'll probably just go with Red Belt. Hmm. 
I'm anticipating this being a pretty sizable yield, so I want to just go with stacking servers as well. Let's see how they handle this thing first. We are going to use wire conditions and everything. So standard thing, wire up these chests, wire up the inserters. Ensure even loading and unloading. Optimal train distributions and such, whatever. I only have 14 and I need more than that. Darn it. Um, why do you do this to me, game? Why? Why? I need resin. Resin gets cooked. Into... Into this, which is what I need to make things. Yeah, I still can't make the insulated wire, no! Because I like tin. I like the tinned copper wire. I don't think I have any tin on me. Do I have tin? I got iron. I have none tin. No! Why do you do this to me, game? I can't do my wiring. Alright, damn it. I have plenty of red wire, but no green wire. I'm so close. Ah. We'll do the wiring later. For now, let's just let it be stupid. Now, these are stack inserters, so I'm anticipating them being able to just pick up a stupendously large amount here. So one red belt... Full, fully laden red belt seems to almost, on occasion, be able to get past one of these rows. So we need at least four full belt, four full red belts, and it's overloading with one, two, three, four, five. So we can only go five deep. Might as well stop here then. That's way too long already. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is where I think maybe even already I'm gonna have to just use um We might just have to use logistics chests, mine into chests, and then have robots bring it to the to the warehouse and then have the train bring it back to the base. Or we gotta go faster belt. I mean, this, this right here is gonna overload everything. This is gonna be more, I think, than the train station can even handle. It's just these miners. That's not a good sign. That means we're running low on red belt.
Okay, so you guys can stop here. I want to balance these just to make sure that they are all getting the same amount. And then eventually we'll still wire them up just to guarantee that they don't somehow en end up loading up unevenly, because they still could. It's possible. Okay, we need to go get some wire. Hmm. Okay, right now these trains they actually hold quite a bit. I remember reading about that. They, uh, I think they had bumped up vanilla cargo capacity, but also ore stacks a lot higher in Bob's mods. It'll, it usually goes up to like 50. So you get, um, what is it? You get 10, you get 40 rows at 50, which is 2,000 per car. So. Yeah, normally a, a four cargo length train would be able to carry about 8,000 ore. But in Bob's mods, we'll be able to carry four times that. So it would be 32,000 ore per train, which is a ton. And uh, it's going to take a little while to get up to full. So, okay, well, let's get this first shipment in and then uh, connect this up to the place where we want it. Next thing after this, this is plenty of sapphire for now. We'll, we'll eventually try to tap the rest of this field. But for now, I think we just we leave this as is. But, um,. I want to go find some of this thing called Jivolite. Because if we can find the Jivolite, then we can have... There's some, some good refining available. Where are you going? You fly, you're, you're just going to fly all the way back to the base. That's cool. Nice. Brilliant. Okay, cool. I'll take a break here. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.